Hi everyone! My name is Pam Nixon from Peace Play and thank you so much for joining me for today's Storytime Yoga class for the Bernards Township Library. I'm so happy that you're here! If we haven't met before, then I am very happy to meet you. And if we have, then welcome back. I'm so glad you're taking class with me again today. Why don't we take a nice seat on the floor? You can sit crisscross applesauce, or you could put one foot up, and that's called half lotus. So you can choose whichever way feels best for your body. I'm gonna sit in half lotus today with one foot up. And we're gonna start by warming up our hands today. I always like to warm up my hands right when it's time to start yoga. And we can warm up our hands by rubbing them together and making some energy. So let's sing a little song together. You can sit up nice and tall, rub your hands just like me, and if you know the words, you can sing along. Rub your hands together and make some energy. Make some energy. Make some energy. Rub your hands together and make some energy. Take a deep breath. Oh. Nice job. Let's warm up our it's a warm day when you're watching this it's nice to bring some heat into our bodies and get our bodies nice and warmed up before we start moving them around to do some different yoga poses so let's put our feet together and rub 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 and sing along with me rub your feet together and make some energy make some energy make some energy rub your feet together and make some energy Take a deep breath. Oh, nice job. Now we're going to do hands and feet, which is a little bit tricky because sometimes our bodies want to tip over. So we have to use some strong tummy muscles to hold us up. So we're going to sit up nice and tall and put our hands and feet together. Here we go. Rub your hands and feet and make some energy. Make some energy, make some energy. Rub your hands and feet and make some energy. Take a deep breath. Oh, great job. Let's keep our feet together and open up our knees for a little butterfly stretch so we can stretch our legs. You can hold on to your feet or you can hold on to your ankles or your shins or wherever it feels comfortable for you. Let's do a little butterfly flap. Can you flap your butterfly wings? It's summertime now, and that means we get to see a lot of butterflies. Have you seen any butterflies outside? Maybe you have a garden, or maybe if you go for a walk in your neighborhood, you see butterflies flying around, landing on some beautiful flowers. I love to see butterflies. Orange butterflies, monarch butterflies, those are my favorite favorite kind. What color butterfly is your favorite? And I wonder where would you go if you were a butterfly and you could fly anywhere at all? Where would you go? Shout it out so I can hear. Where would you fly to? Oh, let's get out our butterfly, butterfly antenna. Put them on the top of your head. Good, and flap your butterfly wings. We're going to sing a little butterfly song together. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Great. Let's grab hold of one butterfly wing. Can you pick one up and hold onto your foot and stretch that butterfly wing really, really, really long, a big stretch, and then bring it back in. And let's hold on to the other butterfly wing. You can pick it up, hold on with one foot, and then stretch, stretch, stretch the other butterfly wing, and bring it back in. Nice butterfly stretch. And let's sit crisscross applesauce. So, since it's summertime, I'm very curious. Have any of you gone to the beach 
or maybe you're going to the beach sometime soon, the beach is one of my favorite places to go in the summer. And today in our Storytime Yoga class, we're going to read a book about the beach. It's called The Beach Ball. I'm gonna move a little closer so that you can see all the pictures really, really well. And maybe you've read this book before. This is one of my favorite summer books. The Beach Ball. Who do you see on the cover? What kind of animals do you see there? I can see, ooh, a little crabby and a turtle and there's a seagull and it looks like, I don't know what that is up there. It kind of looks like a snail. Maybe some other sort of little crab hanging out on the top. Let's find out what happens in the beach ball. Shh, say the waves as the tide rolls in. Are the people all gone? Let the beach ball begin. Then out from the rocks, skitter, scatter, dash, one crab goes diving. There's that little crab with a yee-haw splash. Look at that little crabby. How about we pretend to be crabs too? I think we can do it. Let's put our feet on the floor and our hands on the floor too. And we're gonna use the muscles in our arms and in our legs to push into the floor and lift our hips way, way up into the air. Kind of like we're little crabbies. Yeah. And we can do a crab walk. We can go one way, sideways, and we can go the other way. We can walk forward. Can you walk towards me? Forward, forward, forward. And then back, back, back. Good job. I have a little song about crabs that I can teach you. Let's lift our hips way, way up. You take two steps forward, two steps back. Raise your little snapper and snap, snap, snap. Let's do that again with our other foot. Two steps forward, two steps back. Raise your little snapper and snap, snap, snap. Nice job, little crabbies. Let's do a crab stretch. Stretch your crab legs out in front of you. Reach your crabby arms up, 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 up. And then let's fold forward. And maybe you can reach your toes. And maybe not. And you can hold on to your legs. And that's fine too. Whatever feels like a good stretch for your body. And we can rock a little bit from side to side. You can give your legs a little tap. Just wake them up a little. Wake up legs. Give them a little squeeze. Good job. And then hug your legs in. Give your whole body a big hug. And then come back to sit crisscross applesauce with me. And we will see who else we can find here. So we saw our friend Krabby here and we did our crab pose. And what about this guy right here? What's that? That's called a starfish. It's the same shape as the stars up in the sky. I wonder if we can be starfish together. Let's give it a try. Let's stand up on our feet. Now, to be stars, we have to jump our hands and our feet out super duper wide so that we have five points just like a star. One, two, three, four, and five right here on our head. So we can be a big, tall star. Stretch your arms. Maybe your legs can go even wider. Big, big stretch. And how about we tip our stars over to one side. And do a little stretch this way. And then all the way back up. And we'll tip over to the other side. And do a stretch this way now and all the way back up. Now let's fold our stars in half. So we're gonna fold right where our hips are. Boom, and come all the way down to touch your toes. Maybe we can take two hands over to one foot and then two hands over to the other foot and then all the way back up again. 
One last big star stretch. Stretch your hands, stretch your feet. Nice job. And now let's jump our hands and feet back together and come back and sit down. Let's see who else we can find in our book. We'll go to the next page now. Okay. Two seagulls find a frisbee. One, two, wee! And three clams fly a kite by the twilight sea. Dig for treasure, mates, old Captain Crane hollers. Aye, aye, say four sea turtles as they dig up five sand dollars. Let me bring this in nice and close so you can see the seagulls. See those two seagulls there? got big wings, long beaks, lots of feathers. We're going to come up onto our feet again so that we can do our seagull pose. So the first thing we have to do to turn into seagulls is make sure our wings are working. So I want you to flap your wings. Show me that your seagull wings work. Can you flap super slow? Wow, look how slow my wings are moving. Can you make yours move slow too? And then a little bit faster. There we go. And a little bit faster. I wonder how fast our wings can go. Can you go super, super fast? And then stretch your wings out wide. Give yourself a big hug. Good job. Let's come into a birdie balance. So we're going to stand on just one leg. We're going to step one foot forward, and the other leg is going to go back behind us. Up, 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 up. And now we're going to take our birdie wings out. And look at us. It's like we're seagulls flying over the beach, looking down at the sand, looking down at all the families, having fun on a warm summer day. Can you flap your wings while your leg is lifted? Nice job, little seagulls. Let's bring that foot down. And we'll switch sides. Whatever we do on one side, we always do on the other. So let's take the other foot, back, 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 and up it goes. And now stretch, woo, stretch your wings and flap your seagull wings. You might even want to try taking your seagull wings out in front of you. That's a tricky way to balance. And then, woo, bring your foot back down. Sometimes your balance is nice and strong and sturdy, right? And you can balance on one leg. And sometimes you feel a little bit wobbly, and that's okay too. Let's shake out our legs, one and the other. Shake out our wings, one wing and the other. And let's come all the way back to sit. We're going to do a little birdie breath. So we're gonna keep using our seagull wings. So here's what I want you to do. Stretch your wings out really, really wide, and then put them down right by your side. And now we're going to use our seagull breath to make our wings move. So I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose to make your wings go up. And then a deep breath out through your mouth to make your wings go down. Let's do that again. Deep breath in and out. Can we do that one more time? Deep breath in and out. <sighs> Good job. Now we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to close our mouth. We're going to zip it up. Whoop. That means only breathing in and out through our nose. So put your seagull wings down by your side again and use your nose to take a deep breath in, out your nose. Let's do that. A little bit slower, tiny bit. In and out. Wow, that was super slow. Do you have one more slow birdie breath you can do? Take a deep breath in and out. Great work, birdies. Let's use our wings to give a big birdie high five. Good job. And you can sit crisscross, applesauce, 
Let's see who else we can find here. I see our little starfish friend again, holding on to a kite. I also see, who are these guys here? Who's that? Sea turtles. I see some beautiful sea turtles. Let's see if we can be sea turtles too. Let's put our feet on the floor and then take them wide and then our arms go up, put them together and they go down, 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 down. And now our hands are gonna go underneath our legs and we can pretend that we're hiding inside of our turtle shell by tucking ourselves in. Tuck, 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 tuck. See if you can go all the way down inside your turtle shell, all the way down. And then pop your head out to look around, see what's happening on the beach, see if there's any other sea turtles around. And then, oh no, I hear something. Go back inside your shell, all the way down. Tuck, 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 tuck. And then come on back out again. And let's make our way out of our shell and let's stretch our turtle legs super duper wide and we'll reach for our turtle feet and if you can't reach your feet that's okay you can hold on to whatever part of your leg you can comfortably reach i'm going to hold on to my feet today because that's what feels good for me and you hold wherever it feels good for you let's take two hands to one foot hold on to your foot and then two hands to the other foot Hold on nice and tight. And then two hands go into the middle. And see if you can walk your hands forward. Take a nice stretch and hug your turtle legs in. Yay! And let's have a seat again. We can keep reading our book and find out who else is at the beach. Okay, oh my goodness, I see sea otters. Six otters take a surfboard for a topsy-turvy ride, while seven squid pick seashells in the wishy-washy tide. Eight oysters build a castle, which nine sea snails climb. Ten lobsters catch a moon tan. Look at all of these creatures. Look at all of them. I'm not even sure who we should be first. The otters look like they're having a really good time on their surfboards. How about we pretend that we have surfboards too? Have you ever been surfing before? I've never been. Sounds like a lot of fun though. Let's pretend we're gonna use our yoga imaginations and pretend that we have surfboards. So I want you to hop onto your surfboard and take your feet really, really wide because we wanna have a nice wide base so we don't fall off of our surfboard. So let's come into a warrior pose because that'll help us balance on our surfboard. We're gonna take our feet wide and we're gonna point this foot that way. Can you make your foot point that way too? Nice, and then bend your knee. There you go. And let's stretch our arms way out. And now the waves in the ocean are always moving. So we're moving on our surfboard, right? We're moving forward and we're moving backwards and we're flowing with the water and flowing with the waves. And we're moving around on our surfboard and it feels nice and cool out here on the ocean. How about we switch to the other side? Can you jump switch? So now this foot is pointing that way. Can you make your foot point that way? And we're gonna bend our knee. Yeah, stretch out your arms. Maybe even look up at the beautiful warm sun. Feel the sun on your body. And let's shift forward and back. Because those waves, they're rocking our surfboard. So we're moving. We can't stay still on our surfboard. We might even fall off. But if we move with the waves, I bet you we can stay on. Nice surfing, everybody. Great job. Do you know who I see in the water? Everybody look down into the ocean. Do you know who I see down there? I see fish. Let's jump into the ocean so that we can check out all the fishies. I even have a little fishy friend with me today. He's going to swim over and say hello. Can you say hello to my fishy friend? Blub, 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 blub. He's a very colorful fish, isn't he? Blub, 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 blub. 
Can you all make a fishy face for my fish friend? Go like this. Suck in your cheeks. Pucker your lips. Fishy face. He's going to come nice and close so that he can see everybody's fishy face. Oh, he's looking. He's checking you out. He thinks you did an awesome fishy face. Look at, he's so excited. Oh, what's that little fish? He's gonna go back into the ocean now. Say goodbye to the fish, everybody. Bye, fishy. There he goes. So fun to get a visit from a fish friend today. I bet there's lots of fish in the ocean. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Oh. What time is it for the animals? Picnic time. Chomp, chomp, slurp. What a beach blanket feast. Then the sun's first rays peek up from the east. Looks like the sun is rising. All the animals are finishing up their picnic and the sun is coming up. Let's sit crisscross applesauce or Remember how I told you you could sit with one foot up too? That's called half lotus. Now I want you to bring your hands together and come all the way down. And I want you to imagine that you are making the sun with your arms. And we're going to help the sun rise. So we're going to come up, 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 up with our sun. And maybe even we'll go from one side to the other. And then we'll bring our sun back down again. Down, 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 down. Good job. I think we could use our breath here too to help make the sun rise and fall. Let's give it a try. Let's bring our sun all the way down. And now take a deep breath in. And it's a brand new day. The sun is up. Oh, it's shining. It's bright. It's beautiful. And when it's time to go to bed, the sun goes back down. So on your next breath out, <sighs> the sun comes down. Let's do that again. Deep breath in to bring the sun up and out to bring the sun down. One more time in and out. Great job. And as long as we're here, let's do a big stretch. We'll put one hand on the ground and the other arm can come up and over. And then we'll switch sides. So now this hand goes to the ground and the other arm up and over. Big stretch. Good job. I think we have a couple more pages in our book. Let's take a peek and see. Oh, it's the last page. Vroom, vroom, come the cars down the empty street, then fush, 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 come sandy little feet. Shh, say the waves, they're back again. Everyone hide at the count of ten. Can you help me count to ten? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. I love that sound that the ocean waves make. Can you make that sound with me? Take a deep breath in. It's a beautiful sound, isn't it? Let's do it again. Deep breath in. One more thing that I want to do with you today is a sun dance. It's a wonderful thing to do in the summer to say thank you to the sun. The sun can do three very important things for us. Number one, it gives us light. Without the sun, it would be so dark all the time. We wouldn't be able to see anything and we wouldn't be able to see each other. So thank you, sun, for the light. Number two, it gives us heat. The sun is very, very hot, and without it, we'd be so cold. So thank you, sun, for your heat. 
Number three, the sun makes things grow, like flowers and trees and the grass and the fruits and the vegetables. Without the sun, nothing could grow and we wouldn't have any food. So thank you, sun, for your light and your heat and for making things grow so that we have lots of yummy food. And one of the ways that we can say thank you to the sun is by doing a sun dance. Would you like to do a sun dance with me? Come on and join me. We can stand up and we can do a nice big stretch, stretch, stretch. And now we'll do our sun dance together. If you've taken class with me before, you probably know the words to this, so you can sing along. And if you haven't, then don't worry. You'll learn the words and then you'll know it for next time. We're gonna start in nice, tall, strong mountain pose. Reach your hands up to the sky. Bend down low and touch your toes. Step your feet back into plank. Nice, tall, strong plank pose. On your belly, little snake. Lift your hips up, downward dog. Jump your feet up like a frog. Now on the count of three, we're gonna do a big frog jump together. One, two, three. Ribbit. Good job, although I didn't hear a lot of ribbits. Can we do that again? And this time I wanna hear a big, loud ribbit. One, two, three. Ribbit. Good. Step your feet back into plank on your bellies, little snake. Lift your hips up, downward dog. Jump your feet up like a frog. One more time, big frog jump on the count of three, okay? And let me hear those ribbits. One, two, three, ribbit. Reach your hands up to the sky. Let them fall down by your side. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> One more time, deep breath in. <sighs> Great job. And speaking of deep breaths, before you go, I brought one of my favorite toys that I wanna show you. This is called the breathing ball. It opens and it closes. It's a lot of fun because this ball can help us to practice some super deep breaths. So let's take some deep breaths together here. When I open the ball like this, I want you to take a deep breath in like this. And when I close the ball, I want you to take a deep breath out. Now we're only gonna use our nose for our breathing. So we're not gonna breathe in and out like this. We're gonna breathe in and out like this. Okay, here we go. Let's do it all together, ready? Deep breath in, deep breath out. Nice. How about for our next breath, we go a little bit slower. I think you can do that. Here we go, deep breath in slowly and out slowly. Wow, we have some slow breathers. I love it. Our bodies really like nice slow breaths because they help us to feel calm and relaxed. Can you do another one, but even slower? Slower than the last one? Let's try it out, ready? Slow breath in, slow breath out. One more time. Slow breath in, slow breath out. Great job. Wow, that was some excellent breathing. I am impressed. All right. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye, friends. But before we do, I want to sing one more song with you. So sit crisscross applesauce or half lotus, however it's comfortable for your body. At the end of yoga, we always say namaste, which means the light and the love and all of the goodness inside of me bows to the light and the love and all of the goodness inside of you. So I'm going to sing a little namaste song for you. 
If you know it, sing along with me, and if not, you'll learn the words. Let's put our hands together, ready? I bow to you, you bow to me, we bow to each other, namaste. Now on the count of three, we're gonna throw our hands up in the air and yell, namaste. Ready? One, two, three, namaste. Thank you everybody for coming to play with me today. I had so much fun reading to you and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye.